Hello, thank you for taking some time to view this video. My name's Joe and I work at Robin Hood Water Sports. Um, and the aim of this video is to basically simplify um, choosing the right um, length canoe paddle for yourself. Um, there's lots of different um, sort of factors that can affect what, what length you might go for. Um, lots of information on the internet and it can, yeah, can get quite confusing and it can be a bit of a minefield. Um, so today we want to go through two systems that basically can give you a really solid idea of what, what length you should go for, um, but also just discuss some of the different factors as well. So something that's important to factor in when, when measuring up for a canoe paddle is that it's the, the shaft of the paddle that's important. Uh, so the, the length of the shaft. So that's from the, the shoulder of the paddle here up to the, up to the top of the grip here or the handle. Or, um, and that's because, as mentioned, all the paddle blades um, vary so much um, from paddle to paddle. So obviously, if you're touring and, and that sort of stuff, you'll have a, a blade that's longer uh, and narrower. But yeah, they won't affect what um, ultimately the shaft size you go for. So let's get into the measuring part of this video. Uh, so all you'll need for this bit is a tape measure and uh, something to sit on. So I'm going to go for a chair just because it's a bit more comfortable, but also supports your back so that you can get really good posture, which is important for this part. Um, so what you want to do is with your tape measure, measure from in between your legs up to your chin, making sure that it's nice and straight and that your posture is good. So I'm coming out at 26 inches. So that's from the base of the floor up to your chin. So that's what we're looking for. So 26, and then what you wanna do is add six inches on, um, and that's to um, sort of account for the, the gap between the water line on the bottom of the canoe up to the, the seat that you'll be, you'll be sitting on. Um, so 32 inches is the, the shaft length that I'd be looking for in a paddle. Um, really important things to note here is that this can obviously change between canoe to canoe. Um, obviously six inches is quite a standard for from waterline to the to the seat um, but yeah like I say this can change. So what you want to do if you own a canoe is measure that distance um, and then yeah adjust that accordingly. So if it's seven inches add that on to, to whatever your torso length is here. So as I mentioned um, there are quite a few things that might affect the canoe paddle length. Um, so if you're paddling solo a lot and you're all the way over to one side of the boat and you can feel that you're on an edge, um, it might mean that you could get away with going for a slightly shorter paddle, obviously because you're close to the waterline. Um, on the other end of the spectrum, if you're in quite a wide boat with short hangers, um, you're further away from the waterline. So you, uh, yeah, you might need to go for a slightly longer paddle in that scenario. Um, however, that is um, sort of, yeah, it's only going to be by one size either, either side. So if you're going down or up, it is only going to be, yeah, one size from what we're recommending with this size guide. Um, and that's why we've chosen this one because it gives, yeah, a really nice average. Um, and if you're going to compromise, then this is the one that's going to um, cover the most bases. So obviously my sort of torso measurement came out at 26 inches um, and then we're going off the standard six inch sort of waterline um, sort of base there. So overall 32 inches, um, which is the shaft length we're after. Uh, with Grey Owl Voyages and Pathfinders, that converts to sort of a 54 inch paddle. Um, which coincidentally is what I have always paddled in the past and yeah, will continue to do so probably. Um, so another um, way of measuring this um, and just to double check that you are yeah, fully happy with that sizing um, is sort of a shoulder width test. So this is a 54. So this is, yeah, in theory what I would be paddling. So if you sort of grab the paddle at the shoulder of the, of the blade um, and then up here as well at the grip, and then put your arms up like this. What you want to be looking for is a right angle here um, on both sides. So I believe that's, uh, yeah, should be what it looks like. Um, and that means that, yeah, it's, it should be a good fit. That's a really good way if you're in store of, of, yeah, checking that it's all good. But also if you do order one online, you can, yeah, double check and, and reference that and, and make sure that the two come together and, and yeah, you're, you're happy with the size you've got. So a slight negative to the sort of shoulder width test, so this one, um, is that you might have someone that's, let's say, slightly shorter, but quite broad shoulders, um, and that's gonna slightly affect how the, how the measurement comes out. Um, obviously, when you're paddling, it is in an upright position from sort of here to the waterline. So I think that torso is a really important measurement to get. Um, but what this does, um, sort of yeah achieve is a a really quick measurement um, if that's something that you 
you need to sort of, yeah, in a centre sort of situation or something like that. Um, but also it does just really nicely cross-reference from, from the torso measurements as well. Um, and it can just give you confidence that you are onto the right paddle. Um, for instance, for myself, both of them add up and they both add up to, to a 54 inch paddle. So um, yeah, just gives you confidence that you have gone for the right one. Thank you for taking some time to view this video. Um, hopefully it has given you a bit more clarity on how to size up a paddle. Uh, if you are local and, and looking for a paddle, do come into the store. Um, we can, yeah, obviously go through it with you. You might be, uh, be uh, happy to do it yourself now. Um, but yeah, it'd be good to, to show you different sort of models and, and stuff like that. Um, if you're looking to order one online, please do use this guide. Um, but if you are struggling, just get in touch and we can, yeah, again, go through stuff with you and hopefully yeah, give some clarity on, on what length you should go for. Um, so yeah, if you do have any questions, just get in touch and uh, thanks for thanks for watching.